Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. What we have here is a 450X. This is an older one. This is like a 2017 model. And um, it's in for repair because the battery is just constantly dead. Uh, you put it in the charging station and it doesn't charge up. And uh, this was a, a common issue that we've been seeing for the past eh, two or three years now. We've ran into this sporadically. Uh, we saw a lot more of it this year. But um, <clears throat> it's something we've helped some of you guys out with that have emailed us, you know, with, uh, with this problem. And what you want to look at when you have this issue on your 450X, you know, you put it in the charging station, it just doesn't charge. It doesn't ever charge up. You want to flip it over to where your grommets are at here. And you want to pull the grommet out for the charging plates. That's the, uh, the thicker wire. And uh, you want to pull that out. There's a plug behind here. And, you know, you've seen in our other videos, when you're going to take the top cover off, you pop this grommet out, and you got your plug right there, and you unplug this to take that, that top cover off. Well, the issue is, you go to unplug this, and you can't unplug it, because it's melted together. So move in here a little bit closer, and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about with this. Um... You go to unplug this, it won't come apart. It's melted inside there. Now this one's really obvious because when you flip it over, it's got a big old blister on the side of this plug right there where it was melted. Try to bring that in here a little bit closer for you to see that. You can see that's a that's a real obvious one there. Got that big bubble on there. And that's not coming apart and you want to get that fixed as soon as possible because What's happening is the uh, positive and negative wires are touching inside here. So it's just constantly shorting out. So you can try to charge it all you want. It's not going to charge. It's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter. And like I said, we've seen that a, a decent amount of times this year compared to uh, other years. It was a lot more frequent, but, you know, everything's been out there in the field a lot longer now. Another year's gone by. This is one out of a mower right here. This is the, the charging plate cable. If you go to fix this, you have to replace this whole assembly with the charging plates in the nose. And then there's a harness inside here, this blue one that runs from right here back through the mower to the main board. You're gonna replace that as well. But on this one here, you can see this was the culprit right there. That plug, that's not clipped in there properly. Well, oh, there we go. Neither one of them were in there very well. and because they're not clipped in there properly, the, the wire wasn't crimped into the end of the plug properly, then uh, everything's not making the proper contact, and it's going to create some resistance, and it's going to start to get hot. So this is the other end of that blue wire. You can, you can see there that it was melted. This one, actually, we got to pull apart, and those are the, those are the tabs, or those are the connectors, I'm sorry, for... Um, the uh, charging plate assembly. They're still stuck in there. And not all of them, <clears throat> not all of them will have that, that big blister on the side. I mean, here's one that did have it. You can see again, that's really obvious when you pull it out and you see that, you know, it's, it's just done for. Here's one, we have the wires stuck in there yet in the end of the plug. This is the, the charging plate side and the, uh, the ends of the wires are still in there from that harness that runs back to the mower, but the plug was not melted at all. And it just, when we went to unplug it, just ripped everything right out of there. If you look inside there, you can see, kind of blurred, um, you can see that's the, uh, the prongs from the, the plug on the, uh, the inner harness wire. They're these these prongs, these plugs, plug ends are stuck inside of this plug for the charging plates. And again, that one here, they all have this blemish. Well, I should say most of them have that little blemish discoloration on them. Uh, right here, that, that grayish color on the, on the side of the plug. But, um, you know, it's not melted. It's not bubbled out like these other ones are we're showing you. But that's it there. Uh, again, you go to fix that, you're going to have to replace the charging plate assembly and uh, the harness running back through the mower to the main board. 
and you say, well, you know, why can't I just cut these wires and splice my own ends on there and, uh, and just keep reusing them? Well, you want to have it so it's easily accessible to unplug it, you know, for every time you go to take the top cover off. So you don't want to just, you know, splice them together with no connection in there. And you want to open it up to check to make sure if this wire here was getting hot, you know, if this was getting hot at this end, you want to make sure the heat didn't transfer back to this end here to your main board where that plugs in. Because we did see, we did see one where it actually got, got hot the whole way back through this wire. Uh, it was shorting it out and it actually did do some damage to the, the connector on the main board itself. So uh, just something to look at. A lot of people don't pick up on that or they go to unplug this and they can't figure out why they can't unplug it. That's it right there. And you know, you go to yank that apart and uh, it, it doesn't want to come apart very easily. You might as well just figure on replacing that stuff so you can get it set up and working properly. Husqvarna is aware of this problem. Uh, they mentioned it in a training webinar couple months ago they're still looking into it as to what the the definite cause was or if there's like a you know a certain serial number range was happening in but this is a 2017 model here we've seen it on 2017s 2018s uh i've seen it on some 450x high cuts i have not really seen it on anything other than 450x or 550 uh variations you know a 450xh a 550 a 550h they're the main ones I see it on, not so much on a 430X or 430XH or anything like that. But again, this is the one here I just showed you when I went to um, show you how this, this connector was loose in there. The, the wires pulled the rest of the way out, and that's going to be the biggest culprit of it. Just, you know, not making proper contact in there, and there being some resistance there, and it's going to get hot. And that's what's going to do it. But again, it's nothing to fool around with because you don't want heat anywhere on this thing but anytime you've got wires like that that are melting plugs and the wires are getting hot the whole way back through you don't know what it's going to be doing inside the mower you don't know what it's going to hurt inside of there uh it could also affect your charging station yeah this one here you can see it it's uh it's actually crispy and brown right there where the the blue wire goes into this plug so i'm guessing that was the issue again here where this was starting to back out of the plug and the way that what, what you want to do is when you when you plug these wires back in your your inner harness that's coming out through here and you plug it into this one just plug it in there and just give it a little bit of a tug on either side to make sure that neither one of these wires feels loose or like it's coming out that it's clipped in there properly and that way you'll know for sure that everything is connected good because what happens is sometimes when you go to plug this in this pushes the uh, can push the connectors back, and then you get a situation like this where it just pops that that connector right out of the right out of the, uh, the the plug on the charging plate wiring harness. So hopefully that all makes sense to you guys. Uh, I know, like I said, we've helped quite a few of you guys through um, email that had this issue and you couldn't figure out what was going on, and you were able to just pop that out and when you weren't able to unplug this, you know, we, we knew right away that's what it was. and You were able to get your mower fixed up pretty quickly. Um, these are all common parts that we usually stock. Again, it's 2021 going to 2022, so back orders are, are always a possible issue. But normally we do keep all this stuff on hand. Uh, you go to pull this off and you go to replace this harness inside here. You want to also get your chassis seal to replace it because you're splitting the mower part. But again, you know, make sure to take a good look at the uh, the main board and the other end of this wire when you go to do that repair. So anything you need for your automowers, whether it's parts to make this repair here uh, or any other parts, check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you don't see what you're looking for there, send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. And uh, whether you're in the market for a new automower, accessories, or you need tech support, our website is a pretty good place to start out. Again, www.roboticmowerservices.com. And if you're having issues with your mower, you know, we have a, a link on there to send us an email, or you can just skip going to the website and just shoot us an email. Um, 
at roboticmowerservices.com. We'll try to help you out the best we can to uh, resolve your issue and get your mower back up in action. Uh, that's going to do it for this video here. If you would, please take the time to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.